This time last year, or late last year, you were on this program and you said that Bitcoin would go to $25,000 per coin. I mean, you're nodding sagely there. Yes. And you said it would do that by the end of 2018. Well, obviously it didn't. What yes. went wrong? Well, it, yeah, it's uh, a yeah. huge disappointment. Ne it neither kind of came on terms of price or by calendar. Um, you know, it, last year was a year where the crypto bubble was really, in, you know, s adjusting because there were a lot of ICOs and sort of flawed projects. We thought Bitcoin would sort of survive that. It didn't. You know, it got sold off with the rest of the market. But do you wish you'd never said Bitcoin goes to 25,000 bucks a, a coin? I, I strangely, I just think that's a it's a good fair value for Bitcoin, but the timing of that is going to be difficult. So I don't you still obviously. Think, do you think that at some point it goes to twenty-five grand? Yes. Uh, it's a, first. It's uh, Bitcoin has has had seventy percent pullbacks four times already in its ten-year history, and it's recovered to new all-time highs every time. So to me, uh, it's it's resilient. Second is crypto becoming an asset class. You know, absolutely. You know, I think it's specially driven by millennials and outside the U.S. There's an interest in sort of a digital currency, digital asset store value that's not traditional money. Tom, I think you've got a surefire way of getting on television. Make an outrageous <laughs> claim about outrageous Bitcoin stuff. and then come on and talk about uh, it. And then having to face the, you know, the, the reckoning. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Right? Oh, welcome back. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah, thank you. Tom Lee, thank you very much. So it is unfortunate. Uh, a lot of us who have invested in Bitcoin um, have, and you can look at the graph, unfortunately a lot of people got in at high prices above 10,000 and we're all sitting here with uh, one third of the value uh, and it's unfortunate but uh, I, I do see the long term and I agree with Tom Lee that there is a long term use case and for me if you had been following this channel I stayed away from smaller projects I recommended staying in the top 20 and most of my investments were in the top 5 top 10 and these kind of projects I do see them gaining value and having a use case and we still have that problem of the central banks printing money. So there's going to be a day of reckoning when hard or heavy inflation hits the market. And that's when crypto assets will become more and more desirable. And we still don't have clear custodianship and regulations set up for crypto assets. So yes, Bitcoin could easily go back up to 20,000. And I can see Bitcoin hitting 25,000. Um, but the time horizon like he, Tom Lee was talking about, uh, it might be 2020, 2021. Um, so I did buy these dips. I have been trying to average my buys of Bitcoin around 3,000. Uh, my average buy right now is probably closer to 7,000, but I'm going to continue to make small investments into Bitcoin, especially at the 3,000 level, because I do believe it's a great price. And for me, I know that the, the money that I am putting into crypto, it's a, it's a long-term bet. And uh, maybe it'll go up to 25000 again. Maybe it won't. But I do see myself um, using the digital sort of value in the future. And I just don't want all my assets to be in real estates and stocks. And I just like the idea that the government uh, has less control and I have more freedom to go international across borders and to be able to use my cryptocurrency. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.